Question 5D. We still have to simplify, if possible, and the expression this time is 16C squared divided by 0.5C to the power of 8. Well, this time we have a division, so we could rewrite this expression with a fraction line to help and facilitate the cancelling. The first expression on the top, the second one on the bottom, and the division is represented by the fraction line. So let's see what happens here. We are trying to cancel. First, let's look at the numbers. Now we have to do 16 divided by 0.5. Well, we know that 0.5 is actually, I'll write it again here, is the same as a half. So what we are actually trying to do is divide 16 by a half, or discover how many halves go into 16, or how many halves are there in 16. Think about it. We could divide it using a calculator, but it's nice to imagine, think of 16 holes, how many halves? Twice as many. So we end up with 32. Now we look at the letters. We have C squared on the top, C to the power of 8 on the bottom. We've done this before. C squared is C times C. C to the power of 8 would be C times itself, 8 times. So what happens here? We can cancel. One C on the top, one on the bottom, and another C on the top, and another one on the bottom. We end up with C multiplying itself six times on the bottom. But on the top, we cannot forget we should have a one. Or, like in this case here, if we are simplifying, there are more, the power is higher on the bottom. That's where the answer stays, C to the power of six. The one would blend in on the top, 1 times 32 is 32. So final answer, 32 ta over, sorry, c to the power of 6.